So last but not least, it's a great pleasure to introduce Austin Webb, uh, who is the Chief Executive Officer and co-founder of Robotney. Uh, Robotney developed their first indoor vertical farm prototype in our Project Olympus incubator. And if you came by, you would have seen this glowing lilac uh, um, uh, colors in the window there. It looked like um, kind of a, a big event always happening. They are now selling at Whole Foods, and I can attest that their arugula is delicious. You should go out and buy it. They have received many awards. A recent one was first place at a regional clean tech up competition, and they will compete in the national competition in June, sponsored by the DOE. Austin is the CEO and co-founder of Robotney, a robotic indoor vertical farming company based in Pittsburgh. Concurrently, Austin is also obtaining his MBA at Carnegie Mellon's Tepper uh, School of Business with a focus on entrepreneurship, technology, and strategy. Before starting a Robotney, Austin served as financial analyst at Lockheed Martin and then as investment banking associate for FBR Capital Markets. Austin originally hails from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, but plans on keeping roots in Pittsburgh to achieve Robotney's vision and mission. Great. An avid philanthropist for food security, he's excited to be solving the future of agriculture. Welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, again, as Lenore said, my name is Austin Webb, CEO and co-founder of Robotney. Uh, just graduated this past weekend um, from Tepper School of Business, uh, but actually been full-time on this the whole time for year two. So pretty great what you can do at CMU in terms of um, taking school and, and turning it into more of actually working uh, at your business. Uh, but again, we're a robotic indoor vertical farming company. So we're using robots to manufacture uh, things as well, but we're manufacturing or really growing uh, living organisms, right, plants. Um, and so we are using uh, automated robotics and software analytics to transform um, agriculture. So not just redefine the vertical farming process, but also change the way we look at agriculture today um, and solve many of the environmental problems that are associated with that. Uh, and so to hit on that a little bit further, right, traditional ag today, the process is, a, is broken. Um, it's the number one pollutant of water on this planet, the number two pollutant of air. Uh, we use, uh, it uses over 70% of our water source, which is less than 1% on the planet. Um, and the supply chain is broken. So today, what you are getting on your plate uh, are issues with food quality and food safety. And this will only uh, increase um, as the dynamics continue to change and that we have 7 billion people on the planet today, uh, estimated to be 10 billion by 2050 with 80% of those folks living um, in urban cities, right? So this is a really huge problem and something that's near and dear to us um, and a big reason why we believe in vertical farming. Uh, vertical farming allows you to grow plants indoors. You can stack, make, put them on shelves, stack them on top of one another, get superior density, control the environment 24-7, 365. At Robotney, we use 95% less water than traditional ag. Uh, we use no herbicides or pesticides ever, and so that means we have no runoff pollution. Uh, we also use you know, no topsoil degradation. We are soilless growers. Um, and the big thing is that you know, vertical farming has gotten a lot of press uh, over the last couple of years. But the one thing that these outlets really aren't discussing, uh, including what was just in New York Times and Wall Street Journal um, this past week, actually, uh, is that vertical farms are really inefficient. Uh, and they are not um, you know, manufacturing operations that we would like to see today and that we see in other areas uh, of the world and other industries. Uh, and so you know, very manual labor intensive processes Folks are walking and running into each other, grabbing plant trays with ladders and scissor lifts one by one. Labor is actually the same amount of their operating expenses as the energy cost to actually um, you know, have all the LEDs uh, and the HVAC controls of, uh, for the environment. Uh, and then on top of that, they waste over half their production space. Um, and as you can see in the picture, right, using uh, pen and paper and clipboard, and, and that's great when you're in a meeting and you really don't have time to, to take notes, but why would you do that when you have hundreds and hundreds of trays and you can have a fully integrated solution that works um, at, at, you know, at optimum ability. Uh, and so Robotney, what we've done is created a fully integrated solution of robotic hardware and robotic software. All right, and so on the hardware side, uh, we've essentially created an autonomous storage and retrieval system that works in the indoor uh, vertical farming space. 
Uh, and this means that we can create pure hu human-free grow rooms. Um, this means that we can pump additional CO2 into those rooms for more robust growth. It means labor efficiencies and space efficiencies as we no longer need wide aisleways. We no longer need ladders and scissor lifts. We bring uh, trays of plants to uh, automated stations, to workers um, for a much, a much better process. And it's fully integrated with our software and that our software is the central brain uh, of the system controls the robots, controls every sensor and actuator that we have throughout the farm. And so we can monitor the farm 24-7, 365, and do things where our pH levels, we have a range for what the perfect pH should be for any plant that we grow. Uh, and if it starts to get outside of that range in the fertigation tank, right, our system sees that and automatic, automatically fixes that. But on top of that, we're able to take every single one of those environmental parameters from light spectrum to uh, the light schedules, nutrient mix, nutrient schedules, relative humidity, pH levels, right, all of those, and we can create optimal grow recipes for every single plant that we grow, and we can focus on really important things like nutrients and taste or the ability for, um, you know, shorter life cycle or more yield uh, per plant per leaf as opposed to what's been happening in traditional ag for a long time, which is trying to optimize for plants' ability to handle Roundup and other pesticides. Um, and so uh, I do have a video of our uh, version one uh, miniature farm. Uh, so we've actually got a version two of this now, but uh, filing a patent tomorrow. So simply showing the version one at this time, uh, you'll see the real thing in a minute. Uh, but we're able to grab plant trays, move them to different environmental parameters on different shelves, put it onto a track system, and again, put those trays uh, to automated stations for harvesting, for sanitation, et cetera, as opposed to workers going up on wobbly, uh, wobbly scissor lifts. Right, so all, you know, automatic nutrient mixing, automatic light control. Uh, we do aeroponics, uh, which means we have a nutrient-rich spray to the roots, um, and we can do uh, everything we're growing to date, such as leafy greens and herbs, um, you know, all of that we're doing two to three times faster than in a traditional setting. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's just really fascinating when you, when you just sort of think about how we've been growing for a long time and to simply change that in a new, in a new method, in a new way, um, so that you can get 180 times yield per 2D square foot, for example, and you can do things year round in the middle of urban cities and therefore cut down on uh, food mileage waste uh, and solve last mile problems and robotany, you know, getting with Cassie and being able to deliver to your door, right? Things like that um, that we never thought of before. Um, and so, you know, just to put this in perspective, what all this means is, you know, we're the only company uh, in the space that's created a fully integrated solution of, um, you know, thinking of data analytics and automation simultaneously. We're not stuck in, in sort of the one-off incremental band-aids that a lot of our other competitors are, are stuck in. Uh, and we really, you know, approach this with what should the perfect, uh, you know, take a blank warehouse and what should the perfect process be? Um, and then again, 180 times yields per 2D square foot is what we're currently doing to date. And we're doing that with higher margins than other vertical farms, than greenhouses, and, you know, local uh, organic outdoor farms, big or small, um, you know, throughout the country, and a lot of which are here in, in California. And, and that's all great, and you're probably wondering, what does this mean for me? Well, what it means for you is, pure, beyond organic produce that's herbicide, pesticide free, and being able to eat it the same day it was picked or the day after, instead of it taking five to 21 days to get to you. And you're not the only person out there at every uh, generation looking to avoid chemicals, and it's all about fresh, local, healthy food. And that's something that Robotany uh, is able to do with our technology. Uh, and so because it's a small market and there's only a few players, We've actually created a new operational playbook. We are leveraging our own technology, as I said, to provide um, this beyond organic produce. Um, and it will allow us to get to scale faster, right? Uh, and also create a market. And so, you know, not just owning and operating these farms, but potentially franchising these farms. We, we certainly got a lot of interest to date. Uh, that's what we're looking to do, right? And what that looks like, um, right, is the brand that we've created to date in Pittsburgh, uh, in Whole Foods, is Pure Sky Farms. Right, and that has you know every connotation I mentioned earlier, um, and you know had a really great launch. Uh, we're definitely uh, got a lot of partners who are interested in working with us beyond Whole Foods, um, but we're looking to take that beyond Pittsburgh. Right, so launching a full-scale farm later this year uh, is the plan uh, in our new facility that we are now in in the south side of Pittsburgh, uh, and then looking to cookie-cutter model that and put these farms in every city in North America and then the world. Uh, and at that point, you no longer. Uh, have the same supply chain issues you had before, you've inevitably solved it purely by co-location. 
Uh, and then in addition to that, diversifying crops, doing more than just leafy greens and herbs. You can't feed the world on just lettuce. Um, so things like strawberries and then medicinal plants um, to solve a number of diseases from malaria, et cetera. Uh, the same reasons why we have a perfect, pure environment, as we call it, beyond organic uh, environment for uh, produce, also means a pharmaceutical grade environment for medicinal plants, right? And so looking to uh, hopefully have 20 farms by 2022 or more, uh, and again, look to expand into other areas of the world. Um, and so where we're at today is last year when I spoke at this event, we had not built a single thing, so everything was in theory. Um, and we've uh, built our first uh, version one prototype that you saw in the video. We've raised a little over $700,000 in venture capital to date. Uh, we're building our version two prototype uh, now, about to turn that on, we'll do 40 pounds uh, per day. And it's a miniature version, if you will. It's at scale, but it's 2,000 square feet versus the 20,000 square feet that we look to build. Uh, and we're in the process of raising a 10 million Series A um, right now. And so that's where we're at in Pittsburgh. Um, again, to prep for this uh, large farm that we look to uh, launch later this year. Um, and so our team, just to end it, I can usually go into more detail, but I'll just at a high level say, you know, these are some of the smartest engineers I've ever worked with. Together, we do the business, the robotics, so the operations and the software experience uh, to get this done. We come from blueberry farms, we come from vegetable farms. Um, and so while we are techies, we are also very much green, you know, have green thumbs. Uh, and that's something that I think can be validated by Whole Foods. Uh, and so with that, I really appreciate your time. If you're interested in speaking more, I'm in the back corner here uh, on the right side of the room. Um, and so, you know, look, vertical farming is the future uh, and Robotany is the future of vertical farming. Thank you so much.